This is Jan Solstrom from Horror You Haven't Played, and this is Fishing Vacation. This is by Lame Boy SP. Um, it is part of the Fishing Horror Jam, the first game I'm going to be playing from the Fishing Horror Jam, um, which kind of sprung up from a tweet I made that just said, hey, what if fishing but scary, essentially? And um, developers said, yeah, what if fishing but scary? So we're going to take a look at this as soon as I figure out, oh, uh, 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 there it is. I recently received a letter from an old friend. And it was an invitation to a fishing trip. Oh, that's actually not uh, ominous at all. It'll be just like old times, my friend wrote. A wave of nostalgia washes over me as I reminisce. It's been well over ten years since I'd last been there. As children, we'd visit their uncle's cabin by the lake. Their lake always had the big, the largest... What is that? I'm just going to substitute. The lake always had the largest trout you'd ever seen. I slowly regained my composure and made up my mind. I immediately wrote back, accepting my friend's offer. Not knowing it would be my biggest mistake. I should have never went on that damned. Fishing vacation. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know, it seems pretty chill. If you go, you're as good as fired. Anyway, long story short, gonna need to find a new job. But hey, we need a break every now and then, right? Either way, I'm glad you can make it, buddy. In all honesty, I forgot all about the good old days. But when I got mailed the cabin key from my uncle, all those memories hit me like a trout over the head. How has your uncle been, by the way? You know, I'm not too sure. The letter he sent was the only contact we've had with him for years. Last I saw, he was going through the divorce. Must have been tough, especially for my little cousin. Michael seemed pretty happy about it, though. Ah, oh, we're finally here. Real, uh, Evil Dead Cabin vibes. A bit more rundown than I remember. Is my uncle even here? Well, only one way to find out. Last one is a rotten flounder. What a fish references. Do, 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 do. I love the style of, uh, this, dev this developer's games. Just that lovely Game Boy aesthetic. I see, you know, I've been playing the PS1 demo disc games a lot, and this is not a PS1 demo disc game, and I'm, I'm just happy with the uh, change of scenery. It's a painting of a fish. No time to sleep, it's time to fish. This game gets me. It's a poster of a fish. This is my house. It's a master bedroom. Play the record? Yeah. Dusty books line the shelves, all about fishing. Hmm, no one's here. Oh well, more cabin for us. Let's not investigate anything. This place hasn't had any. Vi <laughs> this place hasn't had any visitors in a while. Hey, it looks like we still got a little daylight left. Still time for a little fishing. I'll be outside. Grab those poles and meet me out back. Da, 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 da. I will find those keys. Yeah, I'll read the Inuit mythos. There are many gods within the Inuit beliefs. One such god is the goddess Sedna, goddess of the sea. Hers is a tragic tale with many different versions, either good or bad depending on the tale. Each version features the same conclusion. It's a photo of a fish! It's a note. We're leaving. Don't come looking for us. The fridge is packed with tons of fish heads. Yeah. Fish bones. Everybody loves fish. Da 
The oven looks like it's very happy to be here. Ah, there's the other pole by the window. That's fish. Don't worry about worms. Tonight, bait's on me. But you're getting your own bait tomorrow. Now, see, I'm more of a uh, grasshopper man myself. Okay, I got bait. That's fine. I also don't like using minnows whenever I fish. I don't like using smaller fish to fish for bigger fish. I don't know. I don't know why. Ah, just like I remember it. A bit more green, though. <laughs> Breathe it in, buddy. Now that's some fresh air. Now let's christen the start of an awesome vacation. Looks like there's something right in front of us. Go ahead and reel in a big one, my friend. Hup. Oh. That was pretty close. Um. Did I... Fuck yeah, I left you. <laughs> this is amazing. You could eat it. That is true. You go for that real far off cast. Championship level. Oh god. Championship level cast. It's weird that there's starfish in this lake, but I'm fine with that. Alright, I uh, can't cast all the way out into the, uh, in the sky. Oh, got it dead on. You caught it. I got scramp. I think that's, an, it's never enough fishing. The lake, the lake's out here, just in case you didn't see it. Now I really want to go fishing, just like real fishing. Hopefully I can fish up those keys. Ah, I was trying to just like stay up. Damn. Uh, actually, I'll put this back on until I can hopefully find some more music. Can't leave the cabin. I have to go buy my own bait today, I think. dig up my own bait today. That's fine. Come here. I'm trying to dig in non-standard places to find keys. Six worms, that's plenty for fishing. Oh, I can scroll to other sides. Come on. Close. Close, close, close. Ah, shit. That's my bad. I, I was hitting A and B. Oh. This game has become punishing very quickly. Um. Huh. I 
I'm, I swear I was, I swear I was hitting A and B. <clears throat> God damn. Okay, I'm trying to think on, uh, like, um, Game Boy emulator logic, which would mean A and B is probably Z and X. Maybe if I had read the game page. Why is the music slow and creepy now? Uh, yeah, tell me about it. Huh? Huh. You had a uh, sleep paralysis, homie. I've been there. Huh. It's a good amount of worms. It's a good good amount of worms for fishing with. Okay, so there's some fishing spots today. Ooh. On it like drugs. Ooh. Hell yeah, I caught a whole ass stingray. I'm getting better at this. Yeah, lobster. Oh. oh, I got a frog. Mechanical keyboard is great for this. That's what I feel like a clownfish using this mechanical keyboard. <coughs> That's just a scrimp. Hmm. Oh, I saw you. Unicorn. Okay. Oh, wait a second there. I um I don't actually don't know if I want this. Ah, there's one of the keys. But did you see that hand pop up? The plot thickens. This game is amazing, by the way. Just in case you didn't already notice that from watching me playing it, that it's uh, amazing. This lake is a very biodiverse lake. I'll get a tin can. Sponge. Wait, only one more day? I need, no, I need three keys. I feel like knowing not how to fish very well on the second day, or yeah, the second day, or yeah, second day. Wait. Night fishing. Uh, I feel like that's a respectable amount. Anything over five is fine with me. Just tin cans all the way down. It's just all tin cans tonight. Sucker fish. Yes. Is there a beta in this pond? <laughs> oh, it's just a tin can. Oh, a jellyfish. Okay.
Oh, it's something looking out of the lake at me. I'm gonna open a tin can store after this. Oh yeah, mount that one on the wall. I caught an anglerfish, but I hear dark whisperings. Hey, you shut up over there. Nice. Fine, go back. Are these just dead fish? Ah, oh, key. Not really. One more key, and then I can solve this mystery. Oh, my record player's back on. Of course. I love the worm catching minigame. I need lots of worms. I need to catch that key or find that key today. Oh! That's a human skeleton! Yes, that's. Yep, most animals look like that. <laughs> ominous without being uh, I, just ominous you know I don't even have a thought to finish there it's just ominous and I love it I apologize again for the sound of the keyboard, but I'm gonna catch fucking everything. You caught up. You caught up. No. <gasps> I have it. No, we're not done fishing until I'm out of worms. You caught up. <clears throat> well, that's pretty simple, that's a goldfish. Sunfish, nice. 150 inches, that's a huge fish. Ah! I just really enjoy that crow noise. Sick. What's in this? I've been waiting this whole time. It's the moment I've been waiting for. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, it's a crude statue. So someone went a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, 
<laughs> wrong button. No. No, thank you. Uh oh. Run! Run, dude! We sped home after that, not saying much to each other. Once we got far enough away from that place, we finally started to decompress. We collected our thoughts and alerted the police about what we found at the cabin. It's been a while since I've last heard from my friend. They informed me once the police read the note in the bottle, they searched the cabin from top to bottom, but there were no signs of their uncle's whereabouts. That part of the mountain is now blocked off to the public. They say the lake was combed over every inch of its floor by a diving expedition conducted by the police. The divers found nothing within the lake's depths. The only thing they could catch were some of the largest trout they'd ever seen. I got the first ending. So this was made for, um, uh, yeah, it was my fishing horror jam. Uh, music and sound by Julian Crowhurst. Programming and designed by Scotty Supple. That's Lame Boy SB. SP. Minute. Early Game Boy font by Jimmy Campbell. Follow these people on Twitter for sure. Absolutely amazing game. That's just the first ending, which implies that there are multiple endings that I didn't get. Though I felt that I was pretty thorough except for the second day where I didn't know how to fish and I fucked it all up. Uh, I'll definitely go back and play this again. It's fantastic. This is a great start to the Fishing Horror Jam games, and I'm sure that they'll all be just as good. Uh, go play this for yourself. If you are if you were screaming at the screen that I was obviously missing something, I need you to go and download this game uh, and find the other endings. And until next time, I'll be... Seeing you around.